Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today I want to talk about MIDI. Now, we have digital keyboards like this, and the ones that are MIDI capable, which is most of them, except for the extremely low-end ones, MIDI allows you to hook up your keyboard to another MIDI device or to a computer and since 1983, 32 years, the standard has been via a 5-pin DIN cable and that carries the MIDI signal. Now, here's what that 5-pin DIN cable looks like. And right away you look at it and you notice this, this metal round part over here and it is solid metal so nothing can penetrate that especially outside interference so it's solid when you hook up this five pin din cable from one midi device to another or to a computer it's solid you're not going to get any interference or anything like that so that's one advantage over the other more recent way of getting midi from one device to a computer and that would be MIDI over USB and that's using a USB cable. Now when you hook up a MIDI device such as a keyboard that has USB over MIDI it's using a USB B connector which looks like this. It's the more square kind of connector as opposed to the flat kind that plugs into your computer. One end is type B the other is type A that goes to your computer. Now most of the intermediate and higher end keyboards come with both. They come with the 5 pin DIN MIDI capability and they also come with MIDI over USB. But some of us who like to get some other kinds of keyboards that can do a lot of other things that some of the higher end ones don't do such as this Casio CGP 700 or some of the Yamaha they are only coming with USB MIDI over USB and that's great if you want to hook it up to your computer and the advantage of that is you don't need special drivers or anything like that as long as it is USB class compliant you can hook up through USB this through to your computer and you don't need special cabling or anything like that it's great but on the downside, I can't hook this directly up to another MIDI device, which I really need to do. Or I can't hook up another MIDI device to this. Now, this is so versatile, this keyboard for me, that I like to, to take it to gigs with me. And like my guitarist who goes out with his cable to the audience and interacts with the audience well i want to do that too i don't want to be nailed down to this stationary keyboard just like any other keyboard where it sits is where you stand i like to be able to go out and play and interact with the audience so i have a, a roland ax1b over here that you strap around your neck you wear it like a guitar and you play it but this is just a controller there's no sounds built in so to get sounds i need to plug this into another midi sound device and in this case that would be this or any other digital keyboard but this doesn't have the five pin din the standard midi connectors it only has usb and that's good if you want to connect to a computer and most home users are only going to connect to a computer. So what's one to do when they have something like this and they want to connect it to this? Or they want to control another device or two or three with this particular keyboard because they like the action and the feel of this keyboard. Those all require the standard 5-pin DIN MIDI connectors. All right, so there is an answer. Finally, there is a company called Kenton, and they make a product called the Kenton MIDI USB Host, which is this little box right here. So this end over here plugs into my AC wall outlet. This end over here 
this part over here this is my MIDI A connector the other end the B connector goes into my MIDI over USB whatever keyboard or device I have that takes MIDI over USB I plug that into here Alright, so that hooks up to the device. Once I do that, I now have five pinned in MIDI in and out. Now, how cool is that? So for keyboards and other MIDI devices that only have that USB over MIDI, that only have that USB cable that can provide MIDI over USB, which is mainly designed to go to a computer, not to any other MIDI device, the way around that is you get one of these devices so now i can take something like my roland ax1b and hook that up to this device through this kenton midi usb host now that it has the five pin midi din in and out i just hook this into the midi in and now, I'm going to turn this on. And all of a sudden, I can play my keyboard here. And as long as my MIDI cable is, I can go into the audience and start interacting with them. So, I'm no longer glued to this stationary keyboard. So, that is a really, really super cool thing. So the advantage of MIDI over USB, using a USB cable, you can hook that up directly to a computer. You can't hook it up to another MIDI device unless you use some kind of adapter like this Kenton MIDI USB host, which will give you a MIDI, a MIDI in and a MIDI out. Now you can hook it up to any kind of 5-pin DIN equipped MIDI equipment which includes any MIDI equipment from 1983 on. And, of course, the higher-end keyboards usually come with both the 5-pin DIN MIDI and the USB connectors. Now, the other problem with the USB connector, the B-type connector, which is that square type that hooks up to devices such as this, you put that in and pull that out enough times and it's gonna get a little loose. And when I showed you that other, the five pin DIN MIDI connector, that's a really secure connection. It plugs in and it's got this whole round metal shield around it. So you don't get noise and you might get noise using a USB connector depending on the quality of the cable you use. Now the other advantage of using 5-pin DIN over the USB is length. Now, USB cables, they start deteriorating at around 9 feet. And that would be like the USB 1.1 standard. USB 2.0 and above, they start deteriorating at a little bit higher length, about 16 feet. And when you use the 5-pin DIN MIDI cable, you've got up to 50 feet. So the signal can go a lot longer. So, and that's cool for me because I can go 50 feet into the audience now and not have to worry about my signal. Now, the 5-pin DIN MIDI standard has been around, like I said, for 32 years as of this video. USB, that might be another thing that just comes and goes, sort of like we had serial communications, then parallel, then SCSI, then Firewire. They're all kind of gone right now. And that may be the fate of USB as well when it comes to be replaced by something more advanced. But MIDI, I believe that's here to stay, or at least for the length of my lifetime. Here's the summary of what this is. When you have a keyboard that's MIDI capable and it has just USB that's great if you want to hook it up to your computer you hook up your MIDI cable once usually your keyboard stays in one place you don't have to worry about it 
done deal. Now you can use it with a DAW or a recorder or whatever you want. If your MIDI keyboard only has the five pin DIN MIDI standard, that's great. There's adapter cables for as little as $5 that'll convert that to uh, USB so that you can hook that up into your computer or if you want a name brand, that's more like $30, $35. But there's nothing that converts a USB only MIDI enabled keyboard to standard five pin DIN MIDI in and MIDI out. It just doesn't exist unless you get a box like this. Now, here's the deal. This box, it's around $150. I got mine on eBay, so I didn't pay as much. And I believe there's another one that I saw called G Host. It looks like Ghost because there's no space between the G and the host. But it's a G Host MIDI connector. I haven't tried that one out. Just the Kenton. The Kenton's been out longer and it has been very reliable as long as you have a USB compliant device such as this particular keyboard it will work with this so not only in fact if you have one of the Yamaha keyboards that come with just USB MIDI and not the five pin DIN they'll sell you a MIDI kit I don't know, 100 150 dollars whatever and it'll only work with that keyboard this particular device will work with any USB compliant keyboard or MIDI device that only provides you with MIDI by means of a USB cable. So, I highly recommend that device. You can use this not only with just one keyboard, you have another keyboard or another device that's just USB MIDI. This can be used with any of them. Hope this has helped you out, Piano Man Chuck. Peace out. Thanks for watching.